Hey there, I'm Travis, your official Blizzard review guy and basement hero. And thanks for tuning in to another Blizzard product review. So I just received this new pair of stimuli fixtures from Blizzard the other day, and I haven't even had that much time to play around with them, so that's exactly what we're gonna do today. A little about the fixture itself. It boasts seven 10 watt super bright Cree LEDs, it has smooth 540 degree pan and 250 degree tilt. The honeycomb lens that you see on the front side here allows it to produce seven individual beams with adjustable beam angle of five to 40 degrees. Each of those seven beams are also separately dimmable or they can also be combined to create one solid beam. The lens is bi-directional and rotates infinitely. It has a color wheel with six colors plus white this fixture has a strobe effect and super smooth dimming. It operates in standalone, master slave, and sound active modes. It includes built-in auto programs. And if controlling this fixture with DMX, it can be accessed through either 12 or 19 channels. Next, let's take a look at its physical features. The fixture housing is very compact and seems to be built tough. On the front, it has an easy to use four button display for setting the mode, DMX address, and pan and tilt settings. There is no wasted space on the back panel which has three pin DMX in and out, power con locking power in with a courtesy power output as well which is always great for daisy chaining multiple fixtures and requiring less cable runs. The back panel also has a fuse and an on off switch. The bottom of the fixture has rubber feet for sturdy placement on flat surfaces and also has holes for mounting this fixture to trussing using the included Omega locking mounting bracket with a clamp. Okay, I think I've mentioned all the features of the stimuli. Next, let's take this one out of the box, get them connected together and plugged in and also connected to Lucid, Blizzard's lighting control software so that we can take a look at how these fixtures can stimulate our audiences. All right, now I've got both stimuli connected together, uh, powered up, and I've got them connected to Lucid, which is Blizzard's lighting control software. I'm gonna be operating these today in 12 channel mode. We'll kind of run through all of the channels so you can see what the capabilities are. And then I'll talk about some of the additional features that you're gonna get in the 19 channel mode. Uh, but for this demonstration, they're going to be used in 12 channel mode. I'll show you some of that stuff and uh, get them pointed on the wall here behind me so you can see what it looks like. Let's check them out. All right, so channel one and channel two is pan and tilt, common for most moving heads. Um, that's what it's going to be in 12 channel mode. If you're using these with 19 channels, then one is pan and two is fine pan. So you get more um, of a finer adjustment with the pan. Three is tilt and then four is the fine tilt adjustment. Um, so since I'm running these in 12 channel, it's just pan on one and tilt on two. It's got a very fast pan and tilt. There you're looking at that compact moving head. Moving pretty quick, that pan and tilt is very quick. You can also adjust the pan and tilt speed on the next channel, which is channel three. So if you wanted it to be much slower, you could do that and just limit the pan tilt speed to what you need for your particular look. The next channel is going to control that honeycomb lens. Um, I'm gonna come back to that. And the next channel, channel five, is the color wheel. I'm gonna come back to that as well. We obviously need to turn the lights on first. So channel six is the dimmer. Let me go ahead and bring the dimmer up. And then with 12 channel mode, we have channel eight is the dimmer for the center LED. And channel nine is the dimmer for the outer LEDs. If you're running this in 19 channels, you're gonna have the ability to control each individual LED. So all seven of them are gonna have their own individual dimmer. In this case, we've got the center here on channel eight and the outer ones on channel nine. So just kind of a preference on, you know, the type of looks that you're gonna be programming. If you need control of each individual, each one of those seven LEDs, you can have that ability in 19 channel mode. So I'm gonna turn all the LEDs on there 
And then let's go back to channel four, which is the beam angle and lens rotation. So it's gonna take that honeycomb lens and rotate it. So I can just rotate it to where I want and let it stop. So I can keep it right there. You know, or there's also variable speed rotation. So you can just tell it to infinitely rotate. It doesn't stop and then have to go back the other way. It rotates both clockwise and counterclockwise infinitely with variable speed. So there's a speed there, there's nice and slow. There's, you know, faster, both directions, so. Uh, let's go back to the, or let's go to colors now. So that's channel four, channel five is the colors. So I'm gonna start moving that color wheel inside there. So you can move it on your own there just like that. Or again, just like most color wheels, there's a rotating feature so I can tell it to rotate. This one's kind of interesting. It's got um, in the settings this rotate feature that's kind of, uh, it kind of jumps around and just changes the colors of each of those LEDs. Um, so it's not just like a smooth rotation, but kind of a, you know, a static, just kind of changes the colors, which is neat. Or if you do want that nice smooth rotation, I believe it has that too. So with the color wheel, I think this is where the only drawback is with the stimuli. Um, it's got some pretty cool colors and how it's got the color stepping feature is really neat. The colors that they have on the color wheel, those choices and how you can get you know, the LEDs to be different colors is really neat. The color stepping and that color wheel rotates. However, the only drawback is that you cannot get all seven LEDs to be the same color, except for white. So when the color wheel's open, we have white, but you cannot say, have all the LEDs be red or blue or green or whatever. Um, that's just the way that the color wheel works. So that's the only drawback. Also has a strobe feature. So we can turn on the strobe to something slow, to a much faster frequency. And then super fast is almost like a blinder effect, which is really neat. So let's turn the strobe off for now. All right, so we've gone through almost all of these of the 12 channels. We did pan, tilt, pan, tilt, speed, our beam angle and lens rotation, the color wheel. There's a, there's a main dimmer for the whole fixture. And then, like I said, in 12 channel, we have the dimmer for the center one and then the outer ones, the outer LEDs. Um, so then we can also access the built-in programs. And let's take a look at those real quick. With the built-in programs, I can access these and let them run. And there's also a separate channel to adjust the built-in program speed. So if I really like this built-in program, but it's a little too slow for the look I'm going for, I can certainly speed it up here with the next channel, which I'm bringing up now. And see, there you can see it's cruising. Really cool eye candy stuff on the front of these lenses with that honeycomb design, each of the seven LEDs. That's pretty cool. So that's one of the built-in programs. I'll kind of go through a couple of these here so you can see. That one there had no pan tilt movement. Now you can see this next one here, they're moving around. The lens is moving around a bit, color wheel's moving. So there's a bunch of built-in programs here. Uh, but what I want to do next is actually point these at the back wall for you so you can kind of see what, what's going on here. So there they are, and right now the beam angle is set so that it just looks like a solid beam. I'm going to rotate the lens here again so you can see what happens with each of those LEDs as we rotate that. So you can see there's solid beam again. Let me just start to rotate it. There we go, so now you can see each of the seven LEDs in each one of those. And as I keep moving it, there they go, pretty wide, pretty far out there. There it's rotating, it's pretty quick, looks pretty cool. Goes in both directions. And you can do variable speed, so here's a little bit slower. Let's get that color wheel going again. Color wheel rotating 
super fast. Here's kind of that static one here where it's flipping through the colors pretty quickly. But it's just snapping the colors. It's not a gradual rotation, which this is kind of cool. All right, I think what I'm gonna do next is I've got the, I've got a fogger out here. So I'm gonna get some fog out and see what these look like. Check out the multi-beam effects with some fog. All right, before I go, I have to mention that like most Blizzard products, this light is backed by Blizzard's two-year product warranty. So that wraps up this video on the stimuli. I hope you liked it. Please remember to click thumbs up if you did or the other button if you didn't. Leave a comment if you have any questions and click subscribe so you don't miss the next video on another really awesome Blizzard product. I'll give you a hint, it's green. Thanks again for watching. I'm Travis, your official Blizzard basement hero. See you next time.